We are here at the Newberry Crater, which is uh, the crater that was left over by the Newberry Volcano when I can't remember if it either exploded or collapsed. But either way, uh, right up there in the mountain, there's a giant massive crater with two big huge lakes in it. Uh, there's, there's resorts up there, lodges, cabins, hiking and four-wheeling trails all over. In the winter time, the whole area closes to vehicles, uh, wheeled vehicles and becomes an entire snowmobile area. And there's still a lodge out there you can snowmobile to, uh, have lunch, uh, stay at the cabin, stuff like that. Beautiful, beautiful place. But over there, uh, towards the town of La Pine and Sun River, there are a bunch of forest service roads that are open to wheeled vehicles to go out wheeling and uh, explore in the woods, all that. And if you take the right combination of roads, you can end up up in the crater where it's a snowmobile only area. And that happened to a guy uh, with Chevy Silverado, I believe. So now it's stuck up there and uh, we're taking the track jeep up to go see if we can get it out. Oh, and I should mention, uh, we do have permission from Sheriff's Department and uh, Forest Service to go do this. Right? Right, we're on our way. So looks like the snow groomer came by and packed you in there a little bit. I was in the truck when he did. <laughs> that was a, that was a middle finger. Yeah, <laughs> that's what that was. Okay. So you tried all the floor mat and sleeping bag and all that stuff. All right. Well, since it's been frozen here overnight for a while. I'll turn around and we'll winch off the front first to make sure it breaks free and comes out of here and we'll do it, we'll pull it out that way. Okay. And then if you need help getting up the hill that way, then we'll use the Yankum rope. Okay. I don't want a Yankum pull out of here where it's frozen because I don't know how frozen it is. So if you want to get it fired up and warmed up, I'll get spun around. Hey, is that frozen laying on the deck? Frozen solid. <laughs> that was gonna be me. Oh man, <laughs> inside the vehicle. Now, I would have never guessed there are so many soft shackle experts on the internet. But after that video where the one pulled apart, apparently, there are a lot of soft shackle experts on the internet. And the best part is, half of them are arguing like very adamantly that one way is correct and half are arguing very adamantly the other way is correct. Now, I always must make sure, I think this is technically correct, but if I pull like that, I pull like that. It really, I just don't like doing that with the knot in the middle. Because reality is if you're pulling someone down the road on the rope anyway, by the time you go any distance and it does this a few times, look. They, up. they move completely. Like never when I go to unhook a vehicle are they in the same place. So I hook them up, I pull on them. That's what I do. And he does a lot. Once or twice. You but want, you want the that. one that failed, uh, once I get my Jeep back from Nate's shop, I will show you that one 
compared to a Yankum shackle, well this is a Matt's Off-Road Recovery Yankum shackle, I will show you the difference and why that one pulled apart. Now this vehicle is frozen solid. He tried to put it into four-wheel drive and nothing turned. Okay, you hop in. All right. Be a low range and first gear. Okay. And I'll get a good bit of pull on it, then start giving some throttle, see if we can break it loose. Okay. And uh, don't like full throttle if nothing's moving, because we don't want to snap a CV shaft or a drive shaft or anything like that. But yeah, yeah. It'll take a good bit probably to break it free. Yeah. And then we'll see what that does. Rear's rolling. He's good. He's good. Keep going. A little more. A little more. You have to keep turning to the passenger side. Okay, I'm going to back up and then pull some more. He's dragging something under the other side. Yeah, sleeping pad. Okay. No, just leave it there. Let's get all this out of the road because we're in the snowmobile trail. Sounds good. Try to turn him around or let no, him. To turn around. I don't want you to do it right here. Yeah. I want you to go down where that intersection is right there and do it there because if you get stuck turning around, I don't want you right around this corner on the snowmobile trail. Yeah. If you get stuck down there, there's a lot of visibility both ways. So go ahead and build it. Just go around me and go try to spin around right there. If you're good, you're good, and we'll head out. If not, I can pull you around. Sounds good. So because I know it's going to get mentioned. This hole right here is going to get filled by the groomers once we're out of here. They're well aware that he's stuck here. They're well aware that we're up here to get him. So, uh, he's stuck. So, they're going to, once we get him out, they're going to come in and fill that hole in for the snowmobiles. Okay, I'll, uh... No point in digging holes. I'll just hook that back up and pull you. Because what I don't want is you spinning and digging holes. And then more snowmobilers want to come find you. Yeah. So we'll just pull you to the top of the hill so you're not spinning right now. Yeah, leave your name and number here.
Yeah. Nothing. He was frozen solid. He put a four wheel drive, couldn't spin a tire. Yeah. I don't know why somebody would drive up here on vehicle on the snowmobile trailer. Whoa! Did I get the shot? Yeah. What shot? That's what I thought. <laughs> well, I think both camera batteries died uh, right around the same point there. We were towing them up the hill, but we, we towed them up to the top of the hill. It's all downhill from here on out, so then we unhooked. He probably would have made it up the hill, but I didn't want him to like spin going up and chew up more of the trail. So I just pulled him that way he wouldn't, and then now it's downhill, he's, he's going no problem. So we are making our way back out of here. That was a fairly easy one, uh, thanks to Track Jeep. It would have been a pain on tires and chewing through that stuff, but um, a few miles out, got him winched out of there, no problem. Then uh, just pulled him up the hill with the Yankum rope and uh, off we went. So, uh, and I've said this in a previous video when I got the things, but a lot of people didn't see that and there's a lot of new people and this question has come up a lot. Uh, those tracks are from American Track Truck and they're the Dominator XL series. Uh, there's a link to that in the description of this video. Not an affiliate link, not anything like that, but a link. So uh, a lot of people have asked that. American Track Truck, I ran them all season last season and they gave me zero issues. They were great. So I uh, highly recommend them if you're into the tracked vehicle thing. So we're going to get headed home and uh, maybe see if we can get a break for a while. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care. See you next one.